Rejoice in the Lord always, always, he says. And again, I say rejoice. And I'm talking about joy for the next few weeks. And so I've, I've talked about, you know, a couple of things so far. Number one, joy will lead you through. It will create victory in your life. It will cause you to be able to, it will sustain you really. It'll cause you to be able to come all the way through whatever it is that you've been dealing with. Number two, joy needs to be a habit. It's gotta be a habit. I talked a little bit last time about how David encouraged himself in the Lord. He knew how to be in the habit of encouraging himself when everybody else wanted to kill him and stone him. Number three, joy will attract the power of God. When you're in joy, it'll attract the power of God into your life. But when you're moaning, complaining, murmuring, uh, when you just decide, you know, woe is me, poor is me, nobody understands what I'm going through, nobody loves me, nobody wants to help me, I'll never change, that kind of that kind of attitude, what does it do? It attracts the wrong spirits. It attracts the wrong kingdom. And so what will happen is you'll empower the kingdom of darkness to, to, to grow and to have influence in your life where joy repels the kingdom of darkness and attracts the kingdom of light. And so what you want to do is stay in a place of joy, stay in a place of rejoicing. Why? Because joy isn't dependent on your situation. I'm going to talk about this next time. Joy is dependent on what God has said, and that's life in 90.